Hi guys, Laura here. I just wanted to go over a few of the different types of thermometers we use here at Middle Park Health. Um, this is one of the types you might see. This is a rectal thermometer and the way that you know that is the red. So the redness here and the red here. Um, and they have, you pull it out, you put your sheath on and then um, it would be ready for insertion in the rectum. And what you wanna make sure you can use a little bit of lube. This is especially helpful with um, infants and babies where sometimes their temperatures are pretty hard to get accurately. This gives a good core temperature. You just need um, it to go just barely in. You may, don't, don't be pushing or probing. Obviously that could hurt, hurt them and be pretty bad. So um, you might also have oral versions of these in your emergency room or your area. Um, and those would be blue here. So this part would be blue and the top of this um, probe would also be blue. So that's the difference there. Um, a lot of places have these tympanic thermometers. I do not have the covers for this one right now, but um, just make sure when you do use this one, it's supposed to go right in the hole in your ear there. So you might need to, some people's are shaped oddly. So you might need to kind of move it around and make sure that you're getting um, it inserted well into the ear to get an accurate temperature. Um, so that is how you use this one. You're just gonna, this actually won't turn on without the probe. Once the probe is on, it's gonna kind of do a three, two, one lines. And once all the lines are appeared, then it will let you take the temperature. Um, this is our temporal scanner and people kind of do this however they feel like it. This is the actual way that you're supposed to do it is you're gonna press it um, to, to your forehead, flush against your skin, go across, you're gonna lift it off and then place it behind your ear. And then you're gonna get a temperature that mine says 97.8 there, okay? So it's actually, you're removing it and then placing it behind behind the ear. So flush across the forehead, lift up while you're still holding down on the button and then behind the ear. This is our um, no touch, uh, which is pretty new in a lot of our places. But um, the biggest issue I see people with these is first of all, that they're touching, <laughs> or second of all, that when they turn it on, you wanna make sure you can see the little baby face there. If it shows you um, that thermometer, that's showing you like the ambient room temperature, um, which it'll just, oops, I just changed it to Celsius. But um, so now it's back on a person and we're gonna hold it just an inch or two away from my head. And it should be taking it unless I screwed something up with the buttons. So that says 36.5, so almost the same as the other one, which was 97.8 or something very similar. Um, so they're reading well, it seems. Um, and then that's my temperature. We never had to touch the patient at all. So that's really great with this. Um, just be aware with any of these devices, if they're um, sweaty or, you know, just came in from the cold from outside, it might be better to get a core temp because often the surface temp isn't gonna be as accurate for you. Um, yeah, so hopefully that is helpful. We have lots to choose from. We also have some um, disposable ones and those are gonna, um, go under the tongue and you'll press the button, put them under the tongue and then when they beep, they're done. So that is that. All right, hope that helps, bye.